everybody. Thanks for watching the replay. Um, what we're doing here is we are fiddling some time here because we're going to be giving, I'm going to be giving a talk, but this allows uh, Freddie to connect this talk to the main page. So that's what we're doing. Uh, they say play music. If I turn the music on my, on my radio, or excuse me, on my telephone, then I disappear. After five or 10 minutes, that might be okay for y'all, but uh, give me a chance here. <laughs> my name is Mary Kay Anderson, and we're gonna be doing a talk, and it's gonna be called Past Life Regression, Healing the Past to Create the Future. And this is the deal. We heal the past to create the future. And why? Well, because our past affects our future, believe it or not. A lot of people say, oh, no, I've gotten rid of the past. It doesn't affect me. I'm sorry. It's really helped to form you. And we're going to investigate that a little bit here today. Um, not traditionally with all that's going on here. And I'm talking away. And I'm just getting my earballs in. So there you go. That's how great I am. <laughs> Ta-da! Had a lovely little talk yesterday. Um, it's all about energy because that's what this is all about. We're all energy. Break us down into the little molecules and we vibrate around. It's cool. And it's fun. And I'm now going to make a few minor adjustments as we do this. Ta -da. So pretend the music on. Da 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 da. La 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 la. Everybody hum with me. Hum 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 hum. <laughs> and we'll create our own little choir here. And we'll have fun. So we're getting ready to do the talk. We're going to have a great little talk. And you'll be able to ask questions. I'll be giving you information. And there'll be all sorts of things you'll be able to do once we have this little chat today. I think probably the main reason for the talk is for people to be aware. I mean, people hear past life regression, they're like, ah! and, um, you know, a lot of weird concepts or ideas come up. So pardon me while I fix my hair here. I want to look super duper here. Oh, there you go. Now we got, we got to get a fan just right. Oh, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? So anyway. I'm killing time, guys. I'm killing time. When I used to sing and something went wrong and that we had a technical issue, then it was my job to um, fill the space and talk or sometimes I'd end up flirting with the guys or talking to the girls or whatever. And um, so I'm used to it. I'm basically one of these hams. <laughs> I'm just a ham. That's what I am. See, I'm poetic too. All right. And I trust me, when we get, we're talking about our subject, we'll get a little more serious. I'm, I'm never totally serious, serious. Because if we can't have a little fun while we learn, then what is the use? What's the sense? What's the reason? Hey, Freddie. And I see somebody else. I think that is, I can't see. Well, I know it's one of my cousins. Oh, Stephen. And is it Stephen? I can't see. The picture's so little. All right. So we're going to be ready to chitter chat here shortly. I'm not the wrong direction today, am I, Freddie? <laughs> I hope not. I went uh, and adjusted all my all my little settings and everything so I didn't go the funny way. I hope. But anyway, so we'll get people getting in here pretty soon. This is, I am Mary Kay, and very soon we're going to be starting. Uh, we have a 1.30 start. Let me check my clock. I think it's 1.30 on my clock. What time is it on yours? Let me see. I can't tell. All right, so here we go. We're going to get ready. My name is Mary Kay Anderson. I'm a retired nurse. Uh, however, I got into holistic health through Reiki. Uh, I'm now a qualified hypnotherapist and energy therapist. 
and I help people understand about energy, how to fix their energy, and how to take the energy of the past to help them create their beautiful future that they're looking for. That's my job. I hate people get unstuck. And I have to say, if there's any one complaint that my clients have is they're stuck. When, when they walk in the door, I, say, I don't even know what to tell you other than I feel like I am stuck. And so my job is to help them get unstuck. And that's what I do. I'm the unsticker. Hey, that might be a good, uh, good ad thing of the unsticker. Nah, I don't like that. Anyway, I want to thank you for tuning in here with me today. Uh, if you're watching this on replay, thank you for watching the replay. And we're going to have a great talk about past life regression. Okay. An absolute fab talk about past life regression. I know a lot of people hear past life regression and they go, oh, what's that? Okay. And they think it's spooky and maybe it is a little eerie to think about. We may have lived in another time, another place. We were somebody else. But the bottom line, what does it all boil down to? It boils down to the fact that we are all energy and that while we incarnate here, we're bringing in our soul energy into this body and any lessons from the past that we have not learned in any previous lives are going to be embedded within our soul. They're going to be this energy that's embedded within us. And so we're going to end up being re revisiting certain things. We're going to be revisiting certain situations or certain experiences as they're brought to us. Not that we go seek them out. It's because they're brought to us. So our energy, our energy and lessons when we leave this, this space or planet, our energy goes and that energy carries with it. And I call it spiritual DNA. That energy carries with it it's the, the imprint of experiences that we've had. And if we have integrated them properly into our field or are they, we didn't get the lesson, we learned our lesson or we didn't get the lesson and they're all askew within our field. Then when we reincarnate back, then that energy within the soul integrates with all of the learned lessons and all of the un the unlearned lessons as energy scars or energy patterns reintegrates into the body okay and now the body is carrying that past life information all right so this is how when we meet somebody even meeting somebody that's part of our soul tribe or somebody that we've worked with in a past life. This is why we kind of get a recognition because that information is in our soul DNA and thereby within us because our soul DNA is in us. Now I know this sounds a little complicated, but it's really not. The purpose of working with past life regression is that we need to clear a path. Okay. We have karmic, I call them scars. We have little scar energy scars within us. You, we can call them uh, blocks or scars, whatever you want to call them. And those are the things that are preventing us from moving forward. They're the things that are preventing us from moving past a block. Okay. Those lessons unlearned. Now we can move past them, but we have to learn that lesson before we can move past it. Okay. And so that's it. Now, people say, well, why can't you use traditional therapy? Why can't you do this? Why can't you do that? Well, I do. I'm a hypnotherapist. I use uh, neurokinetics. I use neurolinguistics. Um, you name it. I'm using all sorts of different um, aspects of therapy to help people move beyond. But sometimes this information is so ingrained and so stuck. In fact, sometimes it's so ingrained and so stuck. When I look at people and I look at their energy, I see their energy. And I see the energy as it sits in the body or is around the person. And when I look at that energy in the body, sometimes I see these scars. Sometimes they're, uh, uh, they're darts of energy that some go like lightning bolts. Some are just, they're askew. Thing, and they represent lessons unlearned. When lessons are learned, it's nice and clear. The meridians are good. Everything's fine. 
but the minute it is it is askew, meaning there is something there not learned, all right? And so I can see those and I can see where those are and what's going on, all right? So we have lessons to learn, we have things to do, we have things to know. And why would we choose past life regression? Usually I choose past life regression for two reasons. Number one, um, Number one is somebody's just really curious. They just think it's a, they're, they want to see who they were or what they did. And they're curious and they want to see what it's all about. And that's cool. I love those. They're fun. They're explorative. And we have a really great time. And we even get to figure out a few things as we're working because it's a great therapy. Okay. The next reason why I use this is perhaps this client, other techniques I'm using in hypnosis, uh, other techniques I'm using just don't seem to be getting in there. This can be particularly true with cases in trauma. I find with trauma, sometimes I end up going using that simply because the patient, the client, excuse me, I'm a, that was my nurse mind, the client cannot get past and allow that information to be told. Now, there's a reason for that. The reason for that is that our subconscious mind protects us. All right. It protects us. And when we are infringing in an area that our subconscious doesn't want us to know, it says that's too painful for you. That's really going to hurt you. Uh, we don't need you to know that anymore. And it will, it will protect the person from that information. Again, in trauma, that's pretty, you know, common. People go, all I remember is this started and I don't remember thing, anything after that. That's our mind protecting us, our subconscious protecting us. And so now we introduce the concept of a past life. Now, this is called the Mary theory, if you will, please, because my theory. And what I believe is happening is the subconscious, we introduce the concept of a past life. So we're going to do past life regression. And the subconscious is, oh, okay. Well, it's not really her. It's not really Mary. It's somebody like Mary. It's not Mary's story. And the subconscious goes, eh, all right, we can do that. And, and then we're, the subconscious will allow that story to come out. So it, it may be something from this life. And, and usually it is. Usually there's something very traumatic that has happened that the client just can't, just can't grasp. They just can't tell or whatever because of the pain that it causes, the emotional distress. And so particularly in trauma, I do believe that the subconscious holds that back and doesn't allow it unless we introduce another concept, which is saying, well, it's not really about this person. It's about this other person. And so then we're able and the story gets to be told. Now, people I hear go, was past life regression, is it real? I mean, did we really do that? Well, all I can tell you is I teach this, I study this, I work with this. And the best I can tell you is I don't know. Okay, I don't know. I have had my own past life experiences, felt very real. But I don't know that it is real. The only true thing I know, and this is what I tell my students, the only thing that I do know is as a therapy, it works. Okay. And we're going to be talking, presenting from an energetic point of view. There's a lot of spiritual things that come into this, uh, for some people and some clients, and that's perfect. And we, we may touch on those in a minute, but the bottom line is, is that it's also, um, excuse me, an energy process as well, an energetic process where we're accessing information stored within that spiritual DNA, okay, within that part of us and allows us to tell the story that needs to be told, okay? Now, so that's kind of my basics here and I'm going to be good because I could talk about this forever. The next thing is, let's talk about karma, okay? I use karmic scars, karmic this, karmic that and there is a phrase that I hear that drives me up a wall and it only because I've learned differently. Okay. And we look at karma as something that has to be done and experienced. And I guess in a way 
that is true, but it's backwards. They think they have to experience that drama trauma. It's all for the sake of experiencing that again. And that's not true. That's not true. It's not for the sake of uh, experience that very same set of circumstances again, or that very same lesson again. The real value in karma is learning the lesson, learning the lesson. When you have repetitive patterns, when you're doing things that you feel you've done over and over and over again, tune in. It's about learning the lesson. So many times clients come in, so many times, and I hear, oh, well, it's just my karma. I did this. This was in my past life, so I have to do this. No, you don't. You don't have to go through that drama trauma again. You don't have to repeat the past. Karma, if you look at it as repeating the past, is useless. Absolutely useless. It's not about repeating the past. It's about creating the future. It's about learning the lesson to move past that stuck space so you can live the life you came here to live. I get excited about this. Sorry, guys. I love this stuff. <laughs> but it's about being able to live the life you need to live or you want to live that you came to live. So karma is about lessons. It's did you learn it or didn't you learn it? And if you didn't learn it, now's your time. Now's your time. And if it's being presented to you again, now is your time. Now is your time to learn because it's it's being presented. That's, that's the bottom line to all that. Now, a lot of people, when they talk about past lives and future life progression and all of that stuff, they're like, well, how does it work? Is it just, you know, a lot of people look at it as sequential, okay? They look at it as a sequential progression of time and of activity. And that's, that's a lot of time. That's a lot of activity. There's another theory of multidimensionality, and that's I'm a little more leaning toward that, where all of these things are happening at any one time. And the reason I lean to that is because in my experience of working with energy and energy patterns, I have seen in my mind, I have seen, I'm not a crazy lady yet, but I have seen a a, a view of what energy is. It's like, here we are at source. Our energy comes down and it branches out in many different, it's not just one, one space. It branches down and each finger is a drop-off point of a piece of energy until we get down to one point where we are focused in this third dimension and our consciousness is here, okay, in that dimension. But we have that ability to access the information to all the other places and spaces because we're energetically connected to all that, okay? And it's us that we're looking. And so anytime something really great happens in a, this is what I saw in this uh, concept, anything that happens within, say, a higher dimensionality that we're existing in at that time, it, if we learn that, it helps pull us up in this life that we're living helps pull us up and strengthen us anything from below the places below us something happens there that might be a little bad it kind of ugh, lowers our energy because we are connected i spoke about this yesterday and it's all about energy we are affected by all the energy of everywhere and everything even the things we do not know about okay so past life regression is cool it's amazing uh, I'm going to be having a podcast with one of uh, a, a student I had who we did a regression for her as a demonstration. And she, it was the most amazing regression that I ever had. A lot of kinetic work was, got done because it was all about what she felt and she was tied down and all these things were going on. And uh, so I'm going to get an interview. So be watching out for the podcast. It's all about energy. I'll have more information on that soon. Um, and, and she's going to talk about how this, and we actually, somebody was looking up all the details that were coming through and there was actually this place at this time and things were happening. So it's very cool. So sometimes things can actually be verified, um, 
not always, but sometimes they can be verified. And the, again, the main reason for past life regression is to help somebody learn a lesson that's being held askew within their physical body because it was askew within their spiritual, quote, DNA, what I'll, I'll call it spiritual DNA, or their soul, the soul of who they are. So karma, well, that's karma. Karma is, again, all about learning lessons. Some people have gone back and I actually had um, one person who went back and went back to it and we were experiencing, they went to a very happy, amazing life. They were this um, lovely uh, person who was uh, more like a gentry, very high up on the social scale and was a very happy life. But what it conveyed to them is that in this life, they were really kind of tagging into all the negative stuff that all they had to do was catch in to what was positive in the life here and that life will create itself. You have to, you have to tag into what's going on. That's right. We're so focused on what's wrong. You have to tag into what's right. So past life regression is amazing. There's a lot of ways to do it. Um, there's uh, hypnosis, which of course I use. There is another way by um, almost uh, using mantras. There's another way by using the body and sensation. So there's a lot of different ways where we can sort of jump people into past lives. So it's, it doesn't have to be any one way. Uh, and I just actually had a person that we didn't do a past life regression, but what we had was, uh, what, what it was, was she was so easy to regress. Some, I love it when people just really get into it and they are really connecting to what they're being presented with. And it makes my job so much easier. Now, better look the time. Let's see. Oh, yep, we're good. I got a few more minutes. I'm not going to be cut off yet. So to everybody that's listening, hi. And I want to say thank you for tuning in. Um, but let's go back. So the whole idea about past life regression is to eliminate past patterns of unlearned lessons so that they can align within our physical. All right, that was me. I'm, uh, if I get cut off, I'm sorry. I don't know what's wrong with my poor little thing here, but I'm gonna have to have a fit with it. Anyway, so we're, we're trying to create that future we're trying to do. Um, I've had a past, that when I got introduced to past life regression, I had an experience and I could feel everything in my body. I felt like I was running. I felt like I got crushed. I mean, I could feel the pain in my body from all of that. And I could feel the, the, the excitement of running and needing to move. And I could see things like I was squashed by a pig or squashed by a cow. And that really sat with a lot with my uh, oppression that I had going on in this life in my long time ago, early life, not anymore. <laughs> and um, so the bottom line was, is that it, it can connect not only into the mind, but it connects into the body because the information's in the cells. The information is in your spiritual cells. And when the body comes in and the spirit joins with the body, it's now, excuse me, now in the body cells. So it's all in the cells. When we talk about cellular intelligence, cellular work, the past life is a part of that cellular information. Okay. So we, we definitely, we want to work, we want to get that out, but we also want to get it out of the cells. And that's where we start working with the body during that time to help the body to release this information because we release it from our mind and that's great. But eventually we may end up having to come back to be sure we get it out of the cells as well. So past life regression is amazing. It's a great tool. It's fantastic. The reality of it, I can't give you a definite, um, I, I just can't because I ha I've had my experience and a lot of people say, well, will I get lost? Can, will I come back? I promise you, I've never lost anybody yet. Everybody's been back. They've all been come back in one piece, mentally sound. So it's not, it's not like you're going to get back there and get lost. And then the other thing is, is, well, what if that identity takes over, takes me over? Okay. After that, well, I find that I've never had that happen to my knowledge. And the point being is it's already part of you. 
And if it takes over, it means there's something in there for you to sort out. And I don't mean take over and you've got this whole different identity. That's a whole other issue. Um, but you, you're dealing with all those things, all those issues, all those problems and taking care of them. The bottom line is, the bottom line is, is that it's a great technique. It's an absolute beautiful space to be able to help somebody in, to help them overcome, uh, again, traumas and things like that. Okay, and I'm going to have to go here pretty quick because I know I'm getting short on time and my phone is having a conniption fit. So if you have any questions for me, write them, uh, put them down and I'll get back and answer them as quickly as I can. Um, the other thing is if you're um, interested in experiencing past life regression, you can go to my website www.vibrationalinstitute.com vibrationalinstitute.com you can email me at vibrationalinstitute at gmail.com. Uh, you can come to this page, um, facebook.com forward slash vibe institute, or you can give me a call 085-275-0262. Anyway, uh, I've enjoyed talking to you. Something's, my phone's going to flash off here again. And if it does, then I'm going to have to go. Apologies. But I hope that's helped you understand a little more about past life regression, about how useful it is, about how it can affect us because we're holding patterns that we have not learned lessons on. Once we learn the lesson, that pattern releases, we can re release it out of the cells, we release it out of the body, and then we can move forward past the block that we've been holding onto. I'll tell you one more story about uh, one more. I had the uh, privilege of uh, doing another demonstration regression in a class and I worked with this person and they went back to a time where they were abandoned and this person particularly had issues around that already. And so we were able to reframe all this, work all this and put it in such a context that they were able to move on and alleviate that abandonment feeling. So it's about a vital therapy. It's a wonderful therapy. Um, I'm part of Irish Hypnosis Blackrock uh, as well. And so we are capable and ready to help you at any point, anyway, anyhow. Whatever you need, we're able to help, okay? Um, I've loved talking to you. I appreciate your time. I appreciate you tuning in with me. And I hope to hear from you, all right? I'm always, and I'm always here on these events, the uh, body, uh, Dublin Body Mind uh, Experience Online. So you can always find me here somewhere doing something. So again, thank all of you for being here. I appreciate you all very much and goodbye till next time. Bye.